spiritual prophet in the building, sun gazer prophet in the... <laughs> Roll the intro, nigga. Roll the intro. <laughs> I stick and move and shape shift. Stay away from fake shit. Don't test my patience, cause I might just go ape shit. Hidden potential. Destined to take off like I'm a spaceship. Alright, what's good everybody? It's your boy Prophet Almighty, aka Poppy Pilaf, aka Mitchell. I'm back at y'all with another video. Um, I guess you could say this is a discussion video. Uh however you want to take it. And uh, what inspired this video was I scrolled through Instagram and I seen a picture. It was like um, your freshman year versus your senior year. It was talking about like how I guess you lose friends or something like that. And it was like in the picture, it was like 10 niggas in the picture of um, freshman year, like eight uh, sophomore year, six junior year, and then like two senior year. And I guess it'll show you like, yo, people you think is your friends really ain't your friends, which will come into play later when I get to it. But um, it's probably to make this video because it um, got me thinking, like, um, what did my senior year of high school teach me? Like, as like, what did it really show me? And I started to think about it, and with me graduating and with me starting college soon, or by the time this video drops, uh, being in college, it made me think, what did my senior year really teach me? Because I never sat and took the time to think about it. So... I'm going to go ahead and get into that. Before I get into anything, though, you already know the drill. Make sure you check out all my social medias. Make sure you check out my SoundCloud. Make sure you check out all my old videos. Make sure you check out all my other music. And, all right, let's go ahead and get into it. So, I basically made a list of pros and cons. You kind of helped me, you know, make this video. And the pros of my senior year and what it taught me was I felt like I learned my worth a little bit. I started to know my value. I started to know, I started to recognize how I should be treated by other people. And I start, I don't, I just started to become more in tune with myself, I guess you could say. I started to value myself more, stuff like that. And I also started to become more cautious and overprotective of my energy because, um, this will come into play when I get into the cons. I felt as if I've been like I've been giving my energy out very loosely. I have been letting any and everybody into my life and steal my energy from me and bring me down. And I start to focus more on myself and start to feel better about myself uh, in the process, which really helped because um, I still have my problems senior year, but three years before that I was like fucked up. I didn't know my worth. I was letting people walk all over me. I didn't know I didn't know my value, and I would uh, I was like friendships get the best of me, relationships get the best of me, and it was kind of bringing me down. But you live and you learn, you know. And yeah, another pro is I began to focus more on myself. Um, this one I don't know, Cause, like I wasn't like a dickhead or like selfish, but I was just again just being protective of my energy and trying to you know look out for myself because the three years prior I spent so much time looking out for other people and didn't really have nobody else to turn to this ain't a slight to any of my friends is watching you know this is how I felt um and yeah so I had to just look out for myself and it kind of taught me a lot it showed me that some of the people that you call your friends really ain't really there for you which will be I'll, I'll also get into that when I get into the cons but yeah and also my energy, but I already mentioned that, so I don't know if I want to get in too deep into that. Um, I just started to be overprotective of my energy because I didn't want people to steal my energy like I've been letting them do three years prior. But yeah, the cons is really a short ass list. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, the con I mean, the pros list was kind of short, but the cons list ain't that much longer. But I got more to say about the cons. Um, with the first con being females now. Um, I was I, I only legit dated one person my senior year and you know everything else after that was kind of a fucking dud but um, the girl I was dating uh, we started dating like junior year and we broke up like um, two three months into our senior year but I, uh, I wasn't really tripping uh, that's another story time but um, what 
Uh, fuck. Um, it basically taught me, man. I need to st- like stop wasting your time with these females. These females don't give a fuck. Wait for somebody that's actually into you, that's going to value you the same way you value them, and I won't waste your time because after my after me and my ex broke up, I was I won't say I was hoeing. Like I wasn't already just fucking females, but like I was just trying to talk to dang, like a hell of females just because. But it was all fucking does, and like because. It would start out kind of, you know, cool. I don't think it's going somewhere. And then they'll come out of nowhere. Um, I'm not ready. And I can tell that they was using that as an excuse. They wasn't really not ready. And you can tell when somebody uses that as an excuse and when somebody uses it as a legit reason, they're not ready. Um, I'm still not over my ex. Bullshit like that, you know? And yeah, so a bunch of fucking duds. And it was, um, it was a female I was talking to who got me mixed up in so much fucking drama and in all my three uh in all my i'm gonna say three in all my years in high school i never got into any sort of drama never had beef with nobody never fought with nobody never you know nothing like that but then this bitch come around and nigga everybody asking me shit but that's another story time that's a good ass one i'm gonna have to get that soon um and other kinds is friends now um if i go on go off on a tangent my fault but when it comes to friends None of the niggas that you was cool with your freshman year will make it to your senior year with you. And there's a lot of factors that uh, come into play when it comes to that. But none of my OG friends from freshman year, I'm still cool with now or still close with now. Um, Only people like that was really tight with freshman year that I'm still cool with now is my friend Chris, who I mentioned in my story, uh, first time getting high story time. Me and him still cool. I wish him the best. And um, I hope he's Michael. But I've been knowing him since like fourth grade. So, he, I mean, he go way, me and him go way back. So I don't know if I want to count that. But everybody else I met my freshman year either um, stopped, we either stopped being cool or they switched up and started being on some funny shit. And you know who you are. But it helped me learn that, you know, not, every, not everybody going to rock with you the same way you rocking with them. Not everybody's going to value you the same way you value them. Not everybody fucks with you the same way you fuck with them. And it helped me kind of learn to keep to myself more because why should I keep giving my energy to other people when they're obviously not trying to reciprocate that same energy and, you know, be a genuine friend? Like, ooh, oh my God. Oh my God. Like, um, man, I don't even want to get into that. No, I ain't even get into that. But... This, my senior year basically taught me the the main thing I took out of my senior year is that I need to focus on myself. I need to focus on this YouTube. I need to focus on this music. I need to focus on something to keep me out of the mix. Because my senior year, like, the second semester of my senior year, I was ducked off. Like, uh, I was used to socializing with a lot of people. Uh, I wasn't really doing that much second semester. First semester, yeah, I kind of was. I was a social butterfly, I guess you could say. But second semester of my senior year I wasn't really fucking too many people just cause you know one most of the people I was trying to fuck with me was just like irrelevant to me like I didn't give a fuck but it's like uh, uh mm-mm, mm-mm. I just had to fucking take time away from people keep more to myself learn more about myself and it kind of paid off in the end cause now y'all getting poppy pee love <laughs> But um, I know that uh, y'all probably expecting more, but that's basically it. Like what my senior year taught me. Um, I do want to do a story time with my senior year and like all the bullshit that happened there. But I don't know. There's a lot of people involved that I'm not really cool with. And I feel like if I say something about them, it's going to start some shit. But at the same time, I don't give a fuck because I feel like it would be a good story. But I don't know. But anyways, thank you for checking out this video. Uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you check out all my old videos. Make sure you check out all my new videos coming after this. Make sure you check out my SoundCloud. Um, I definitely got new music coming soon. Um, what else? What else? What else? Um, yeah, that's really about it. Um, Almighty Gang, we in the cup. P-Live Gang, you know what's up. And I'm out of here. Yeah.